What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious. You guys are the 11 crew and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Alright guys, what I have for you today is my mushroom cubby farm. Alright, I think it looks pretty darn cool. Uh, I just kind of tried to make it look like a mushroom on top. And I didn't want to use the regular red. I thought the, uh, the nether warp block kind of gave it a really cool texture. So, yeah, that's the one I went with. Now you can do whatever you want to do. It's entirely up to you. You don't have to build this, but as always, the redstone is what's important. And keep in mind, this is uh, expandable. It's as expandable as you need it to be. Okay, I'm just doing this little small, there's 12 cubbies. All right, and there's, uh, there's basically mushrooms that are on those blocks right there, and they grow up and they spread to here. And then what happens is there's water on a timer, which I was hoping we would get the timer going. I guess uh, I guess not. I guess we're not going to be lucky. But uh, you get the the water will come out. Okay, it's on a timer. It'll push it out. It'll stay out for a minute. For or not not for a minute, just for you know, an extended period of time, allowing the mushrooms to fall off, and then the water gets retracted. Okay, so like I said, I was, I was really hoping we were going to see that, but okay. Anyway, doesn't really matter. I am going to be going back to check this out because I built this. I want to say about two weeks ago, and I just forgot to do the tutorial on it, so I don't remember all of the, you know, the little details. Uh, so we're going to be going back to check that. But I should I should remember the, uh, the other stuff very well. Okay, so here's what you're going to need. Okay, you're going to need uh, some hoppers, some dispensers, uh, double chest. You don't really need more than that. I would suggest mycelium or what is the other one? Uh, mycelium or podzel. Uh, because w when you're building it, obviously you're going to be building it, in the, unless you want to just build at night, that's fine, then you don't need that. But I do suggest one of the two, uh, unless you want to build like a barrier for the top to block out the light, entirely up to you. Uh, obviously you need both kinds of mushrooms. Uh, for decoration, we got red nether brick, red stained glass, nether warp block. Uh, you do not need glowstone, you could, you could use regular torches, it's just for where the redstone is. We're going to be using white concrete. Uh, redstone torch. Do we need a redstone torch? I I changed this. I don't keep it just in case. I don't think we need it. Just have it ready. Uh, obviously, some redstone dust. One block of redstone. That's for the clock. You need a bunch of repeaters. That's kind of how we're gonna get our delay. Uh, comparator, observer, or a bunch of a bunch of observers uh, i also i had it short for you guys so to, to see the demonstration but i do suggest you take five full stacks of whatever item you want i would just use cobblestone or wood dirt something you have a lot of that you don't really need and you can get more of so maybe cobble's the best uh this is just for my floor and then you need two sticky pistons as well okay all right cool so here's what you're going to do First, you're going to set down however many lanes you want. Okay, so we're going to do four lanes there. Cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to set down our, these are our actual lanes themselves. Okay. Now you don't have to put the mycelium here. You could just have dirt here. Uh, but I have it in my inventory, so why not? The mycelium is really for the areas where the mushrooms are going to be placed. So I'll show you in a second. Get out of here. Get out of here, chicken. Okay. So then what you're going to do is you're going to find this first block of my mycelium. Go to the second and go back. Okay. And then you're going to come to the end. Go up one. Go back and go down. And you're going to put down. Oh. You're just going to go down one and put the mycel mycelium there. Okay. And then you're going to alternate. So that's going to be red. That's going to be brown. Okay. And you're going to do that for all of these. So just go down two. Right? Go down two. And then that's where you put your mycelium. Now this bottom level is the only level that's going to get five. Five layers of one, two, three, four, five layers of mushrooms. Every other one is only going to get two. Okay, so you're just going to skip that. You want to make sure they're alternating. So it's going to be red, brown, red, brown red brown and then this one's going to be brown red brown red brown you get it <laughs> just like that cool and what do i have for the lanes are they i told you i'm gonna have to go back to check this a bit i want to get this right for you guys the outer ones are 
this and the inner ones are in this. Okay, perfect. All right, so for the outer ones, we're gonna do nether brick. So we're gonna come out here like so with it. And we're gonna come out, I believe it's, I believe it's three for the front. Hold on. So it's one, two, no, just two, sorry. Where'd it go? So it's just gonna be two, two past the front. Okay, so this is gonna be the front, so we're gonna put two past it. So come here, so make it even, right? And then come out one, two, okay? Cool, actually, while we're here, let's do that first. So we're gonna break, so right in the end of these, we're gonna break all of this, okay? You're gonna find the center, or if you, if you do if you do more, you may not have a center. The center should be this. It wouldn't be one of these. It would be one of these because you're making it bigger. Again, you can do this as much as you, as long as you want. I'm doing four. You could do it longer. Okay, so this is our center. So we're gonna put. Actually, we're gonna break that. We're gonna go one, two that way. Come out like this. Make sure all the hoppers face into each other. Obviously, pretty standard hopper practice. And then we're gonna do. We're gonna do one more, okay? And now you're just going to put these here like so. Cool. We'll do the rest of that stuff uh, a little later on, okay? Now what we're gonna do, okay, is on top of these, we're gonna put more mycelium. Okay, so that's gonna be opposite as well. Same thing here, more mycelium. And again, we're gonna go opposite. Okay, and then one more time, more mycelium, or again, dirt if you have a, if you have coverage. Okay, or if you're building this at night. But if you're building it at night, you gotta make sure you, you, you finish this part quick because as soon as it turns day, they're gonna pop off and it's gonna be the exact opposite of what you want. Okay, cool. So now what we can do is you can come in here with these on this grass, see where I have the grass part? Only on the grass part. Like that. Just a line going like that. And then this top part can be like that, I believe. Don't quote me on that yet. And then what you want to do is just come in here with this. Whoops. Come in here like this. All right, so the same areas where you have your uh, dispenser. You put the dispenser with the block in between it. Okay, so it's the same line. Now I built this farm in an old um, in an old world that I had, right? A, a uh, another let's play on another channel, and I did cuts. I did a lot of cuts, so the farm was never really fully uh, tutorialized. If that's a word. I'm making it a word now. Okay, so it's like that. I believe that's right. Yeah, looks right. Okay, and then for this side, you're just gonna, oh, and then, I'm sorry. And then in between, see where we have these, the two dispensers right here? In between, you're gonna put that there. And what that does, that makes sure the mushroom is not washed away. See how that mushroom is now covered up? Okay, so you're just gonna go in there. Oh, I never did this one. Okay, so you're just gonna build all of this up. So essentially, that's all we're doing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, and do that really quick. You're gonna do the same thing you did here where you just come across like that, do the same thing there, and then the outer wall is this. Okay, so I'll come back when it's all done. All right, guys, one quick thing. You actually do the wall like this, so it's not just the brick. So the brick only goes on the bottom, it comes up, and then it goes to here like that. Okay, and then the rest you fill in with whatever design you want. Again, I really think the nether wart block looks, uh, looks very good in this farm. I do very highly suggest it. Oh, by the way, you're going to need 12 buckets of water. I forgot, about, or however many buckets of water you, you have dispensers. I did forget that in ingredients, uh, so just keep that in mind. The good thing is you're still building if you're building along with me, and it's not going to affect you that much. Just go grab some buckets. Okay, and then I covered the top uh, with this, not the nether wart. Okay, beautiful. Now you just come in here, you fill this up with your red glass, okay? If you really want this covered, you can totally cover it, you know, and just keep it all covered. Then you, if you're building it underground and then just have the shoot up and then it doesn't matter what materials you build it out of, 
uh, because you're going to be underground. Okay, so that's the basic uh, layout of it. All right, next, what we're going to do is we're going to dig out back here a little bit. Okay, just because you obviously need space for the redstone. And really quickly, let me just see. This is the front, which means this is the redstone. I just need to see something really quick. You know what? It doesn't matter. We'll just we'll just build it together. It don't even matter. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your observers, and what you want to do is you want to put the observers like this. First or that back there for a second. Okay, so you want to do it. Oh, I didn't. That looks ugly. You want to do it like this to where the observer is a block under where these are because you want to be able to fill these in right you want to still be able to come in here and fill it in so you just take your dust you put your dust like that and you come down put another observer facing up dust and then you guys get the point okay another observer and uh, dust you could use a block here but whatever i just say use the dust Okay, now you're going to come out one, two, three, four, five. Make sure this is about six wide from this spot. So from where this wall ends, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and you're going to go uh, three down to give yourself, oops, to give yourself some room to work with. Uh, let me just go ahead and take out the blocks I need really quick. I think I can get rid of that, that, and... Yeah, we don't need this right now. We'll put that there. Oh, no, we put this there. There we go. Okay, so let's just build it. Let's just break it again. So let me just dig this out. Just going to dig it three down. Okay, that should give you a nice amount of room to work with. Then what you're going to do is just make sure you have a line like this. So underneath these observers, there should be a gap and then a line like that. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to go from observer to observer right there okay you can actually cover that back up with whatever your ground is doesn't matter okay and you could do the same in between here we're going to be filling this in so it really doesn't matter okay and then what you're going to do is we're going to build our clock going this way so one two three four five uh we actually should have came out seven. Oh no no we can make this the can we make this the block? Mm, no, we'll build it seven. Sorry. So just come out. Uh, just come out one more with it. I think it was six from the observer. That's what I was counting in my head from before. Okay. So what we're going to do. Let's get rid of that. Actually, I'm going to use a block. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you guys know how to do all of this, right? This is just your standard etho clock booyah now we're not going to fill it up yet because that would be kind of silly uh should i come out yeah let's put it on top so block there block there i mean uh redstone there redstone there sticky piston this way sticky piston this way put a block and you're good to go okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our signal from here okay we're going to take our signal from here and we're going to put it going this way. Now, yeah, we're going to take our signal from here and we're going to go like this with it. I know it's a little hard. You know, maybe I'll use the white. It might be a little too hard to tell. Yeah, let's use the white. Oh, just because the red on the red is just crazy. Okay, so you're just going to go like that. And that's so we have all the space that we need over here for what we're about to do. And then you can just fill this back in. Right? Let's just fill. I guess it was two down, but whatever. Just fill all of this back in with whatever you use. I'd say just a junk block. Okay. 
Before we do that, we're going to come here with our observer. And we're going to go one, two, break that down really quick, and three. So what happens is when this moves over, okay, when this moves over, it's going to power this, which is obviously going to trigger that. This is going to set, this off, set these off to dispense the water. And then with the timer we're about to use, it's going to, it's going to put it off again, okay, a second time. And I think this is where the, I think this is where that, um, that torch was that I was talking about. Okay. So now all we're going to do is very simple. We're just going to come here and we're going to go one, put on full delay. Everything's on full delay. Two, three, right? So every single thing we have here is on full delay. Leave that there. Break that. Because again, it's underground, so it's fine. Put a piece of uh, redstone there. And then we're just going to come this way. All right, just like so. And what you want to do is you want to make sure you get to here. Sorry. You don't want to activate that again. Okay, that's the last thing you want to do. So you can come uh, right, yeah, right there with it. Okay, you're going to put another piece of redstone here. You're going to come this way. So basically, you're just walking this all the way through. Put a block there because, again, if we activated this, then this would stay on forever and it would never go off. So put a block there. Okay, and we could just run it into that, but I don't want to do it that way. I want to go one more time. Right? So let's just go one more time. And again, we'll put it here. Just always keep in mind where that redstone is. You never want to activate um, that redstone again. So go here. Okay, and remember to put everything on, on full delay. That is super, super important. And we put a block here, like so. We put a block. Uh, what do we do? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Then we put... Oh, we could activate it like that, couldn't we? No, we're not going to. We're going to put a another thing there. Break this. And we're going to put an observer like so. With a piece of redstone there. Okay, so that will set it off uh, the second time. And this is all the delay that you're going to need. And then where I had the light was just wherever you have uh, like a spot. So you put it there and there, although I don't think you're going to, that's why I said, I don't really think you're going to need it, but we have it anyway. Okay. And then we come here and we just put back our stuff like so. All right. And before we go, we're going to pop down in here and we're going to put our stuff away. But first let's fill up, let's fill up our dispensers with the water. Okay. So we're going to come here and we're going to get 12 buckets of water like so. All right, so let me just fill all of these up really quick. Okay, so that's all done. So now we're just going to come in here. And we're going to put our five, um, you know what they're called, <laughs> five uh, stackable items. Okay, good. No water's out yet. That's exactly what we want. Okay, then we're just going to cover these up. And it should never be opened again unless there's some kind of issue later on when they change redstone for the millionth time and i actually forgot about this you don't put these here yet because we have to extend it we're going to extend it out one past wherever where these observers are okay then we end it then we put this here like so okay same thing on this side so again you're just going to break these come out another two one two come up with it and go like that Okay, cool. There we go. Now keep in mind, mushrooms are, you know, they grow randomly. There is an algorithm for them. So just, just be patient. It will grow. Uh, I do suggest you put something in here. Uh, I don't know about light. Okay, just put something in there and then put this across. Okay, and then again, we're going to put this block here. I just, I really love these two together. I think they're such a, a good combination of blocks together. Okay, now for the fun decoration. So we're going to put an M for mushroom. Did I do it on the end? No. You don't leave, you leave the end. You come in one. 
Okay, you go all the way across. I know, it's like a crazy M. And then you just find the center. Okay, should be a gap of three, one, two, three. All right, do the same thing on the other side. Again, have fun with it. Do whatever you want. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to do this, but let's, this is the play around time, okay? The, the farm itself is already done, so you're good. So if you don't like the rest of the farm that I did, you're free to go and enjoy your farm. There we go. Okay, now we're going to break each of these ends really quick. Because why not? Give a little more definition, right? And then I started, yeah. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put our chest here. As you guys know, I like to decorate that. So we're going to put our chest down. Okay. We're going to go all the way across. We're going to go from the end all the way across. We're going to come out two and then put one there. Wait, is it one or is it one in the front? Yeah, it is. It's diagonal and over. Cool. I did that right. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, so it should look like this in the front. All right, so here's the end. And then you kind of make this little L shape on the side. And then you do the same thing here. All right, so the side is going to be too wide, except for the front. So it's going to be too wide and not the front. And then we do the same thing on the back. So we go all the way around. Okay. You're going to make a little square there and then come out here. Okay, so a little square there and come out there. Cool. And then what I did is I just went ahead like this. I put all of this down. Okay, just to highlight it a little bit more, a little accent piece. Why not? Same thing there. And then one final side. Okay, and then for the top, again, play around. Have a little fun with it. So we're going to come in here. We're going to go like that diagonally. Okay. We're going to go all the way across. You want to make sure you leave this little L shape. So there's a little L shape right here. You want to leave the little L shape on all the sides. Okay. And we're going to go up two with that, except for this one right here on the side. That's going to have one. And then this middle right here, I think it's going to be three. I think that's how I did it, right? Yeah. Okay, so you find where that little M middle is, and then you come one to the left and one to the right. Okay, and then you just fill this up. Uh, keep in mind, guys, you do want to have either uh, half slabs or, you know, something in here. So I'm just going to go really quick and just fill this in. Uh, you don't have to. You can totally have it hollow to save blocks. I do always suggest dirt. You know, I always, rather than like half slabs or something because, or even light, you never know somewhere down the line if they're going to make a mob that can spawn in light, uh, even though it'd be horrible. Or if they're going to, you know, there's going to be a glitch where things spawn on top of half slabs and then they're stuck in there. So, you know, I, I do suggest that. Okay. Then you're just going to come, you're just going to double this up, but one in. Okay. It's like, where'd it go? Whoa, where'd it go? <laughs> okay. And then we're going to come like that. Or did I do the same thing there? Did I leave the little L shape for the second level? No, I didn't. Nope, I did not. Okay, so that's just going to be... Oh, I did. I'm sorry. Yeah, I left a little L shape for this one as well. Yeah, the little L shape for that one. Okay, and then you're just going to double these up. Like so. All right, and now we're going to put some on the corners here. Okay, so we're going to come one inside. Let me just fill this up again. So I told you, I've been trying to get a little bit more creative with my roofs because I they suck. So there we go. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to come up and you're going to put uh, two, right? Yeah, two on each corner. So one there, one there, whoops, one there, and one there. And then the rest you just fill in. Right? You just fill in like so. Might as well fill in that middle here as well. And you fill this in like that. Okay? And then the top is essentially just... Is it just two or... Th yeah. So the top is like this. It comes up two. And then uh, one in the middle with one on each side. 
And there you go. There is your mushroom farm automatic, fully automatic. Now watch, you're gonna see this turn off in a second. Give it a sec, and there we go. So that's exactly what we wanted. It stays out for a little bit, and it'll push any mushrooms that it finds in here. Again, keep in mind, mushrooms grow, you know, very, very infrequently. So uh, this is, place this somewhere if you're on Java where there's like, uh, you know, your your spawn chunks where it's always going, or you can do the tick on, uh, on bedrock, or just place it in an area where you're going to be by a lot, and uh, or just go AFK, and you'll see the mushrooms start to start to go. I think I have some over here already. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got a couple in there, so it's not it's not too bad. This one has a much shorter. Oh, I might have break. I might have broken something. Yeah, I definitely did. When I was messing around back here, I definitely broke something. Uh, but anyway, you're gonna have a working one. All right, so that's it, guys. That's the whole thing. Let me know what you think of my little cubby mushroom farm. And uh, Captain, I was out. Peace.